Today I'm going to remove shellac nails. These are the items that I need. Cotton balls, foil paper, nail polish remover, coconut oil. Okay, so we have to cut the foil paper into strips to wrap around the finger. So we cut it and then smaller pieces. We cut them in small squares. The first thing you have to do is cut and use a nail clip and cut the nails down as short as possible. Okay, we all know that nail polish remover is a bit harsh on the nails. So, the best thing to do is to put petroleum jelly around the nails. Okay, around the skin. On the skin you put petroleum jelly so it doesn't damage your hand because we'll actually be soaking it with the nail polish remover. Okay, now we'll give the cotton balls a good soak. This is a bit thick, divide it in half. Give it a good soak, like really wet it, put it on the nail and then cover it with the foil paper. Okay, we do this for all five fingers. Thoroughly soak, put it on the nail and wrap it with the foil paper. So here I have my five fingers. I'm going to do one hand at a time and the point of putting the foil paper around this is to keep the moisture from evaporating because we all know nail polish evaporates so by squeezing it in it does not dry up okay so we leave it here and you can go watch TV read a book you have to actually leave it on for an hour or more depending on how much uh, acetone your nail polish has so what it does is see I take it off and what this does is it helps to lift it off the nail see it just lifts it off but you have to really soak it because remember you shouldn't pull the nail off you can damage your under nail, so you have to really soak it. So it still needs a little bit more soaking. See, it's not quite off yet, and I've left it on for all, already an entire hour. So I leave it for another 20 minutes. I'll add some more nail polish remover to moist it, wrap it again, and leave it for another 20 minutes before. It's supposed to just peel right off. You can see it's lifting, but if you don't pull it off properly, you can da actually damage your nail. So it has lifted the rubber, the plastic, and now we okay. Still needs a bit more soaking, so. As you can see, that's what it does, it just lifts it off. Okay. 
you don't ever force it. It still sealed a bit, so you soak it a bit more. So we can clearly say that this nail polish remover does not work, as you can see on my previous pictures. So now I will try something else. Now I'm going to try this remover that I bought, it says 100% acetone, which is what is supposed to help remove the glue from the nail. So this is what I'll try now. As you can see, this, this, this is my nail. This is my nail and you can see here the piece that is grow out and I need to take that off. So now we will try the acetone, 100% pure acetone. So I get a glass and I will pour some acetone inside. I'm not going to go the route where I wrap my fingers. I think that takes too long. I know acetone dries out, but it's okay. So I throw a little bit inside. Now I will soak my finger. This is the nail that I'm doing and I'm going to do it one at a time. So I will just soak the finger in it. I let you know how long I have to wait before it actually starts doing anything. So here I'm soaking my fingers. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. And according to some of the YouTube videos that I've seen, they said to wait 10 minutes. Let me see what happens after 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I can see it's actually lifting up, see? So this is working. See? It's actually lifting up. So I just need to keep it for another five minutes because I don't want to have to scrape it off. I want it to just lift. Okay, now I've waited another five minutes. I'm ready to do the test. So let's start. Here it is. It's all coming right off. This is perfect. So you take something and you just put it under to slide it off. Then you take this and just wipe that off. Just give the nails a good wiping. Take off what's there. You can see most of it has come off. If you look at the nails, most of it is off. The nails are white because of the acetone. So you'll have to moisturize after. So as I'm not sure how much you can see, just a little piece now is left on most of it. So I'll just soak it for another five minutes. But this one is definitely working. See, there you go. My little nail, it's all off. The little nail is completely done. The others still have a little patch, so another five minutes will do. There you can see it's actually lifting. Okay. There you go. It's all off. I lift it right off so that one's done. We we'll just have a little piece on the others left. So the point is this works. Make sure that you get 100% pure acetone and within half an hour or less you can have it all off. So once we're all done, if we look at the nails, they're all clean now. The gel nail, the acrylic slash gel nails are all off. The acetone will leave your fingers a bit white, but it will go away after a little while. Now we have to just wash with soap 
and warm water. The same thing with the glass. Make sure we clean it with warm water. So now we will just wash our hands with soap. and moisturize with lotion make sure you get the nails okay. moisturize with lotion and then add some oil olive oil coconut oil any kind of moisturizing oil okay so now i have the lotions on Wait until it's dry for like a minute. It works into the skin. Take some coconut oil to oil the cuticles. Okay. You rub that in and you leave it. Make this your pampering day. Sit for about 20 minutes and do nothing. Watch TV or don't do any kind of handwork, okay? Thank you for watching my video and good luck with your acrylic nail removing. So, to conclude, Good luck in your next nail removal process.